I want to talk about vitiligo. Vitiligo. That's how it's pronounced. What is it? It's a deep pigmentation problem. You're losing your pigment in certain areas of the body. The cells in control of adding pigments to the skin, called melanocytes, have stopped working correctly. Now, this condition is associated with autoimmune conditions. So a lot of times, people with vitiligo have other autoimmune conditions. But there's still a lot of unknowns about whether it is an autoimmune condition or not. What we do know about vitiligo is there's a huge amount of free radical damage. Okay, There's a lot of uh, something called ROS. It's creating oxidation, free radical damage, and hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Now, it just so happens that these two trace minerals, zinc and copper, are involved in a very powerful antioxidant, superoxide dismutase. Okay. So zinc and copper are needed to make this antioxidant. Also, if a problem has a vitamin D receptor problem, it's called a polymorphism for the vitamin D receptor, they are four times more at risk of getting vitiligo. Now, one treatment they use for vitiligo would be using certain light therapy, and we do know there's an association with light or even the sun and vitamin D. And lastly, there's a very interesting pilot study, which I'm going to put a link down below, that showed that when a person took 35,000 IUs of vitamin D3, there was significant improvements in this condition. 14 out of 16 patients had a 25 to 75 percent repigmentation. That's huge. I did another video on vitiligo, but I didn't talk about the dosage recommended for these three supplements. So this is what I would recommend. If you have this condition, I would recommend taking 100 milligrams of zinc per day. I would take 35,000 IUs of vitamin D3 every single day. And I would take 1,500 micrograms, not milligrams, of copper every single day to support this enzyme and also to help overcome any barriers of vitamin D absorption. Vitamin D acts like cortisol in the body without the side effects. And one of the treatments for vitiligo is to take prednisone or cortisone cream. Why not take vitamin D instead and hopefully improve this condition without the side effects. And as a last note, if you haven't seen my other videos on autoimmune conditions in general, because vitiligo is associated with autoimmune conditions, I would highly recommend doing not just intermittent fasting, but periodic prolonged fasting. This is essential to help your immune system regenerate. All right. Thanks for watching.